Hello, I'm Barbara Eastwick and we're going to look at how to create a digital craft from using a ping file. It's a ping template. Bring up your software. It doesn't matter which graphics software you use. I am using PrintShop version 22. But you just need a blank page, 8.5 by 11, and you need to insert or open the ping file and you'll need to stretch it the entire length of the eight and a half by eleven page. So I'm going to line it up in the corner and stretch it all the way corner to corner to get it to work. And then I'll just insert my digital scrapbooking page. I'll be using a kit from Designs by Shelley called Pink Linen. And you can just choose your paper. I think I'll be using this striped paper. And stretch it the entire size of your project. And arrange layer, send to back. And don't worry about all the stuff that's hanging over the edges none of it will matter, none of it will print. Only that which you see, the white, and then what is inside the white will print. Now we can begin adding some elements. I'm going to add a pink diamond border and I will crop it down to six diamonds. There and just crop it to the length you wish and click OK and then I'll arrange them here. This piece at the bottom will fold up to be the front of our pocket and we'll just add more. There's a nice tag and we'll need to arrange and rotate it 180 degrees because again when this folds up it will be the other side so we need to do this part upside down. And then text tools I'll be writing the word joys and then highlight it and you can change the font and the color and I turned it upside down. And I'll go get another graphic, another element from my scrapbooking kit. It's a brad and remember this will be a two-sided tag so I'd like the two brads to be located in approximately the same place on each one. That way when I cut them out and put them back to back they'll look like two halves of the same hole. And to continue just add some ribbon and stretch it and arrange it. Once you have it arranged you'll want to duplicate it. You want it exactly the same when you go down. I did the same to the brad. In my program it's control D. However you duplicate an element you'd want to have it be exactly the same size and again I'm just gonna put in a flower, size it, and then duplicate it twice and arrange them and set them where I wish. There. And we'll add some more. I'll be personalizing the tag for my daughter. And highlight and I'll make the font white. There. And a few more embellishments here at the bottom. And size them. And I will duplicate this and arrange it right next to it. there. Now I'd like 
something a little bit that would be easier to read my journaling on. I plan to hand write some journaling. So I'm just going to add a white box with no border and then use one of my editing tools to make it look aged and cracked. You could add a piece of vellum or just leave it solid white, all of which would work. And I'm going to send this backwards underneath the ribbon and that brad. So I'll need to send backwards twice. There. And now it's ready to print. So we'll print this out and cut it out. And now we need to score the tag, the, the pocket. So we'll score down the side and across the middle. And then fold under the tabs and glue them. And then glue the two sides together of the tag. That's a two-sided tag now. And that's all there is to it. Thank you very much.